The really exciting thing about this find is that an animal that's considered so simple, sort of a relative almost of the snail, it doesn't have a backbone, it's a really very different animal to us humans, is doing a really complex behaviour that in the past has been considered just the preserve of you know, us super monkeys. And I think it's amazing that these at lower life forms are doing really complicated behaviours including this form of tool use. So tool use is what we associate with chimpanzees or a few birds or an occasional dolphin. This is an octopus that runs around collecting cups, stacking them, running along them with them underneath its body and then assembling them as perfect armour if a predator comes along. So it's a planned future use. It's, it comes at a cost carrying them, these shells in this awkward way and it's a fantastic example of complex behaviours in what we consider the lower life forms and I think these sorts of behaviours are everywhere out in nature. There's really complex behaviours that we write off because we think we're the clever ones. We've had a lot of excitement about this story because it, I think people are fascinated by octopuses anyway. There's that sort of monster of the deep or the brainy slug kind of mentality but for them to start assembling portable armour is sort of challenging our concepts of what tool use is, what complicated behaviour is, whether that's a learned or an inherited thing. There's all sorts of aspects of how this sort of challenges the current concepts of tools are just used by clever humans and nearby monkeys.